here tonight are ready to enter the land of make-believe. <laughs> Looks like Howie's already in the land of make-believe, which makes you the perfect person to join me up here on stage. Would you mind? Let's hear it for Howie Mandel, everyone. Yes, thank you. In your own time, Howie. I understand your logic. The longer, the longer you take, the shorter my act. I quite understand. Have a seat there, Howie. Tonight, live from Radio City, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. OK, now all you have to do... All you have to do is keep looking out there, all right? Let me do all the talking, OK? And I've got to say, that's a pretty good fit. By the way, uh, this is Charlie. Are you okay, Charlie? Yes, thank you. First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something macho. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, it shocked me. It shocked me. I was only joking. Do you want me to change the voice? No, no, I like it. OK. I want to say hello to my fans. You want to say hello to this lot? Yes. Turn to the people on the right, give them a big wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nicely done. Now the people on the left, say hi to them. Hiya. And now the people right up the top, give them a big sexy hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you see them waving back? Yeah, idiots. Now stop touching me! What? Get away! What? Stop touching me! What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away! OK, all right, all right, is that far enough? Perfect. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He's got a controller, he can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. You want to be an act? Yes, you go and judge me. You want me to judge you? Yes, go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Hello, fellow judges. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. OK, so um, I can't believe I'm a judge on America's Got Talent. So um, what's your name? Well, my name is, um, my name, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> My name is Howie. Hello. Good evening, Howie. And what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> Look, you, you don't have to. No, no, I really want to. Yes. OK, so do you have some moves you'd like to show us? Oh, yes. Let me stand up, first of all. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> OK. First of all, I'd like to stretch. I'm going to do some stretching. I'll just stretch my arms like this. <laughs> and my legs like this. <laughs> OK, so now to business. OK, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my twerking. <laughs> So, I turn around, I turn around, I put my hands on the seat, and I wiggle my butt. Um. Is that it? Oh, yes. Hang on. Let me turn around again. Yes. OK, so that was fantastic. Don't make me laugh, though. I can't make you talk when I laugh. <laughs> so what are you going to do for your performance this evening? Tonight, I'm going to do some Irish dancing. <laughs> really? Naked. <laughs> I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So uh, oh. when you're ready, the stage is yours. Cue the music. <laughs>
What's your name? Darcy Oak. Darcy, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you living in the UK or you? I'm not. No, been... I came here just for this. So. How old are you, Darcy? I'm 26. And what got you into the act that you're doing today? When I was a kid, actually, I had hopes and dreams of becoming a doctor, but my parents insisted that I become a magician. So <laughs> here I am. <laughs> My name is Darcy Oak, I'm 26, and I specialize in sleight of hand and illusions. I've loved magic for forever. When I was a kid, my dad was messing around with cards. I pick one, he pulled it out, and it was my card. I experienced that feeling of like, how did you do that? And I wanted to do that to other people. Now, say the magic words. Abracadabra. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm auditioning for Britain's Got Talent because it's the biggest talent show in the world and I want to be performing on a global scale. And I feel that if it goes well, it can change my life. I'm going to go out on that stage and I'm going to do what I've practiced my whole life and hopefully they like it. All right, wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. something to this. Hello, so I've got, uh, I've got some snack a lackage right there. And, and now to do this, I need to borrow a dollar bill. So does someone have? No. I didn't, I didn't say it was free, I didn't say it was free. Oh, Howie got one, okay, go. awesome, great, thank you. Everyone here has a unique fingerprint, which basically means that out of all the seven billion people in the world, you are the only person with that fingerprint. Same thing with the bill, only the serial number acts as the bill's fingerprint. So to do this, actually, uh, Howard, I would love you, for you to help me out with this. Uh, what I want no. you to do... I, I hate you... helping. You hate? Yeah, but I'll do it. I'll make, I'll make this easy for you. I want you to just read off that serial number for us. All right, here we go. L-0-8-7-3-0-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
You take this sealed bag of popcorn, just tear it open. Now open it up. You see something inside the bag? Yay! No. Yeah, show, show it to Howard. Show it to Howard. You see something inside? Pull it out. And actually, yeah. Heidi, what I'd love for you to do is just please read off the serial number on that bill. Let's see if it matches Howie's. Wow. L, L zero, zero eight, eight seven, seven three, three zero, zero four, four three, three two, two, two M as a M. magic. Wow. Come on, let's make some noise. Let's That was really good. How do you do that? How do you do that? All right. You know, when I, when I judge an act, I t put a lot of credibility into what this crowd feels and how they react. And that reaction was genuine. You had people up on their feet. Your trick was flawless. You're getting emotional, aren't you? Yeah, this, is, this really this means so much to me. Yeah. Good for you. You weren't, re you weren't expecting that? No, not at all. Have you suffered a lot of rejection with your act? Yeah. A lot, yeah. Today, you proved something. You got the goods. You've got charisma. You know how to handle yourself. For 16 years old, it's quite remarkable. Thank Good you. for you. I loved it. Thank you so much, Howard. I liked it. I want to see more. I love that you bring snacks. <laughs> I liked you. Thank you so much. Mel? I don't know how you did it, and I want to see you do more stuff. You, my friend, are great. Thank you. Howie. Here's what's uh, amazing to me. I believe at 16 years old, you have just stepped, sir, into your future. Thank you. Last time we were here, we accidentally hit the buzzer and X'd ourselves. Yeah, it gave us quite the thrill. Yeah, it was a nice adrenaline rush. We got off. Oh, uh, we got off so Big good. Big time. Yeah. And we want to relive that experience. It's true. Uh, Whoa. That's nice. That, that feels, feels really, really good. good. Really good. There's one buzzer that's still active. Heidi, that's yours. You've not touched that quite yet. You're probably wondering what these are. Inside of one of these bags is the fourth and final X. Embedded in the block of wood is a steel spike that is sharp to the touch. Mel B, can you just check that? Yeah. It is indeed sharp, yes? yes? It's facing straight up so that if anything gets slammed down upon it, it will become impaled. Now, we don't know which bag this spike is in because before the show, one of the backstage crew placed it in one of the bags. Since we don't know, this makes it exciting for us and for you. That's right. Now, so far during the live rounds, there has not been an act to get four X's and been sent home. But tonight, that might change. Heidi, during this trick, if at any time we slam down the wrong bag, sending the spike through our hand and sending blood everywhere, it's your job to hit that fourth and final buzzer and send us home. <laughs> Adding insult to injury. The pressure is on, man. Each one of the judges is going to choose a bag for us to smash. If I was in your spot and somebody said choose a bag, I would choose bag A, but that's just because I like immediate gratification. It's true. Now, we're more like me, you choose bag E because it's on the opposite end of the spectrum and you just don't trust Lehman. Now, we should tell you, most people would choose bag C. We're not telling you that so you do choose bag C. We're not telling you that so you don't choose bag C. We're just telling you that so you're informed. It's true. <laughs> now, the D bag is least likely to be chosen because... <laughs> Douchebag! Hey, bag? We're on a family show. I can't say that. Nobody wants to be one. Okay. <laughs> and there is one bag that we have not mentioned, and, and we, we won't. won't. Good. So, we'll begin with uh, the king of all media, Howard Stern. Which bag would you like to smash first? Well, I guess I gotta go for the D bag. All right. <laughs> Why not? Thank you for your honesty. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> <Amazing. Whoa. laughs> Woo, feeling good. I'm feeling real good. Oh, oh, God, Howard, very nice, very nice. Thank oh. you for choosing that one. Uh, there's four bags left, A, B, C, and E. Howie, it's your turn. Which bag should I smash? I'm from Canada. First one, eh? A. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that feels good. Are you oh, yeah. feeling good? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling good. Oh, we got yeah. three bags left. This one we're going to do together. Mel B, the choice is yours. Which bag would you like us to smash? B. 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 Here we go. One, one, two, two three. 
Oh, oh. very nice choice, Mel B. <laughs> it's intense. We have I'm... two bags left. Nikana, can you join us on stage and stand right behind the bags? <laughs> Nikana, everybody. Well, okay. Now, at the beginning, we said there's a spike in one of the bags, and we believe there's a spike in one of the bags. But the question is, do, do you, you believe, believe there's a spike in one of these bags? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Ooh, this, Ooh, this is going to be, be very dramatic. dramatic. Oh, this is going to be good. Nick, go ahead and hold both hands over each bag. No. Oh, oh it's fine. It's fine. It is. It's going to be up. Okay. Yeah. Because we're going to trust your intuition, your sense. Get a feeling of which bag you think is safe. As soon as you have a feeling of which bag is safe, leave that hand above the bag. The other hand you can let rest at your side. The one that I think is safe. Yeah, no the spike. one without the spike. Without the spike, okay. Bag C. Yeah. yeah. That's your choice. <laughs> Stop! Now we would never actually do that. Immoral, unethical, Completely just Completely unethical. But you are up here to make sure we do what we said we were going to do, which is smash yeah. all the bags except for one, and you think bag C is safe. Yes. Perfect. Here we go. Grab both of our wrists with each hand, and on the count of our three, you are going to slam our hand down. One, One two, two. Wait, 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 wait. Heidi, you never got to choose a bag. That's right. I didn't. Would you like to stick with Nick's decision or switch bags? I switch. 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 Oh. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> All right. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh, Nick, thank you for choosing. Heidi, thank you for switching. Because if you hadn't, you would have gotten the fourth and final X. It is a real spike. Please give Nick Cannon a huge round of applause. Wow. Thank you, Nick. I almost killed you guys. I'm going to do a, uh, a, my version of the Russian roulette using women's intuition. What does that mean? I'm going to demonstrate, actually. I would love you to be my assistant. Okay. Okay. Yeah! Okay. I have uh, a bunch of industrial uh, staple guns right here. And I don't mind the color, it's just to match my hair. I'm gonna make sure these are empty, just watch out. <laughs> just take one of these out, make sure they're real, not made out of uh, rubber or anything. Take anyone out, anyone you want, doesn't matter. Well, just like that. Yeah, yeah, no. What is it? Uh, Staples. Yeah. Staple. Load the gun, put it inside. Like that face up. All right, make sure I don't cheat, okay? Right. It's right inside. We're gonna put all the staple guns inside this bag. Okay, take this. Why? Take it, take it. Right. Gonna shuffle it up, shuffle it up. Shuffle. Stand on my uh, left. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Do you believe in women's intuition? Yes. Awesome, this should be awesome. Okay, good. shake it, shake it, shake it. You're gonna reach inside. Do you feel that gun is totally safe, empty? 
I want to use your intuition. Is it empty? Yes. Right. You feel it. It's empty. Uh, I think it's empty. Okay. Don't think. Feel. I feel it's empty. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. Okay. Hold it like a gun. Okay. One, oh! two, three, go! <laughs> Why? Go! Ah! Another one. Don't try that at home. Ever. Reach inside, make sure it's really empty. Use your intuition, please. No, this is not empty. They all shake. This is it's not empty. It's the mechanics empty. of it. They all shake. You have to use your intuition. They this all... is not empty. Then take out a one that's empty. Oh, they all shake. This is empty. Okay. Go. Go. I can't oh. believe I'm doing this. This is like... Go. No! What? Oh! Whoa! I'm three, this please! Is, this is not normal, by the way. This is not normal. I'm going to prepare if I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get really, really injured. Well, one of these is going to have something in it. Take out the one that's empty. Put the one that's full back. You feel empty? Full well, empty. I don't know. I trust you. No, trust don't. Do not trust me. Do not trust me. <laughs> Mel, please. I'm change? so sorry. You want to change your mind? No. OK, OK. Quick, quick, <laughs> go! Oh! Ah! Give me a big round of applause. Come on. Check it out. I have here a picture of a pretty decent looking Asian boy right here. I'm gonna just staple right into the wood. Make sure that's real. Is that 100% real? And that's you to yes. keep as a souvenir. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's what I call trust. Did you feel that? Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> oh my world, okay. <laughs> to me, close up magic is purely skill. You put hours and years of your life into learning one move. And then when you do that move, you don't want anyone to see it. In the first auditions, I did close-up magic. Wow. Well, come on, everyone, make some noise! Now, you can't do the same magic trick twice. But what I can do is tonight go back to my roots, close-up magic, and give people an experience that will be very intimate and very magical. All right. Now, in my first audition, I did close-up magic for you guys at your table. So tonight, I thought I'd bring it full circle and do some close-up magic. So, Melby, we're going to start off taking cards like this. And you just say the word stop. Stop. OK? Got a marker? What I want you to do is take this marker, and I want you to sign this card. Perfect. All right, great. Let's actually, it needs to dry off a little bit. Hold on. OK, uh, we actually, we'll give it a second to dry. So then, uh, Heidi, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, all right? What I would like you to do, say the word stop whenever you want. Stop. Right here. This will be your card. Take the Sharpie, sign it. Great. We've got Heidi, your card, and Melby, your card. All right, each of you guys signed one. Now this is where it begins to get crazy. If we take the cards, we just push them slowly together like this, the edges will actually line up. That oh, didn't work. Um, hold on, sorry. This is, like, this is the most technical part. You need to get the edges to actually line up, just like that. See how the edges line up? Mm -hmm. Got to keep the cards together. Heidi, I want you to bite down on this end of the card. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the trick, I promise. All right, Melby, bite down on this end, over here. <laughs> Now, ladies, ladies, put your lips together on the card. Whoa. Now, what's going to actually happen, you're going to start to feel the card heat up. I can, I can sense, like, the tension right here. The card actually starts to heat up. Can I ask Heidi something? Yes, I, I, I don't think can talk right now. Uh, Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right. OK, now what's going to happen, these two cards are going to heat up and start to melt together. You're actually going to feel the card start to melt right now. They've melted. <laughs> Let me take the uh, car for a second. Uh, I can see the bite imprint. Look at this. I know. Oh. You, actually, you can see it's now one card. Here, I want you to feel it. They're not like glued together or stuck together. It really is one no. card. No. This is where it gets crazy. 
was only one car, we had two yeah. cars. Well, if you're wondering, oh. if you're wondering where the next one went. <laughs> oh my god. Out. The one card is actually infused. Shut into up! The bag. Oh my god. I god. Uh, here, I want you to take the card, just pull it and just like just go through it. It's really legitly there, right? You can see the same yes. thing, Melby. Actually, here, let me see the card for a second. Is that there we go. We need to keep a half. Thank you. Aww. Wow. Thank you, Heidi. Wow. What a twist on a card trick. Collins Key, ladies and gentlemen, bringing some real excitement to the judges' table. Forget seeing Howie and Howard kiss. That was a moment. Uh, Heidi, you still seem mesmerized. I mean, when it is this close, especially, you know, my eyes were like, Full on focusing. I mean, first of all, why didn't you not have the boys do this? You know how much they like it. Could have been another moment. I'm you up know? for it. Let's go. Wow, I am. I'm. I'm shocked. I don't know how you do it. Thank you Amazing. so much. Thank you. Good job. Wow. Howard, you're a terrific performer. 17 years old. Let's remind America of that. And um, I think you've got a great future. Thank you so awesome. much. Mel B. Collins, I actually think that that was one of your best performances. You listened wow. to Howard, you sped everything up, it all made sense. I nearly got to kiss Heidi, thank you very much for that. <laughs> I thought that was great, and I hope people do vote for you because you're young and inspirational. You thank really you are. Thank you so much, thank you. Good luck, pal. Thank you, guys. Have fun, enjoy. Hello. Hello there. What's your name? James Moore. How old are you, James? I'm 24. Is this what you do full time or do you have a day job? This is now full time for me. I've been doing it. It's a bit of magic since I was eight. Simon loves magic. I know how much he loves it. I do like magic when it's good. Okay. Okay. Best of luck. Definitely gonna say yes. Four big fat yeses, congratulations. Well done! I don't believe it. Well I don't believe it. She's like the wind through my tree. Next to me, she leads me to moonlight on the 